guys happy Friday I thought I'd give you a little peek of my kitchen I have actually added some more lemons in here if you can believe it I found a bag of lemons that I didn't know I had so I added a few more lemons I also want to show you this is my everyday centerpiece that I use And I added some lemons and limes. I found two more limes and about 10 more lemons. So I did add some more lemons in here. And we'll just kind of go around the kitchen. And if you hear that noise in the background, that's just the dishwasher going tonight. So we'll just kind of go around here in case you're new to my channel and did not see my previous videos. So I have to have my salt and pepper out. So this is, I try to make it look nice on this little chalkboard tray that I have. And this little container right here has a bee on it and I will be using that when I do my bee tablescape. Might be a few more weeks before I do that. Remember my three tier tray that I have. I don't know if anybody forgot to show that off last time. I have a little bee in here. This is actually a napkin ring. And that will be part of the bee tablescape, too. I got up here, I got my squeeze the day. As you might be able to see, where I've added some of the lemons up in my niches up here. So we'll just kind of pan around a little bit. Of course, we have. Mr. Bistro Man here, he might. It's getting a little dark outside as you can see the sun's going down behind the foothills there. We don't get much of a good sunset here, but we do get really pretty uh, sunrises here at our house. So I am going to see. Oh, it's going to be hard to see some of this. I do have my stepladder here, so I'm probably what I will do is I'll get on the stepladder and show you each of the niches. I did add a couple new items up here since the last time I revamped them. So let me go grab that and we will check out the niches. Okay, here is one of my niches and as you can see I just added some lemons and a few daisies, yellow and white daisies up here. This one has stayed the same since the last time I revamped it. I did change something here and something on that one. So let me go over to this other side here and we will check out the next niche. Okay, here's the first niche. I didn't do anything new to this one. This is the same as the last time I revamped them. I just added a couple lemons and some white and uh, yellow daisies here. Uh, but this niche, I did add one more item, and I might do a little more revamping on it. Haven't figured out what to do yet. That one over there has a new item, of course, and I can't see that one very well. But it doesn't have anything new but the linen. So let me move the ladder over, and we will check out okay, the next so one. This niche right here, I've added this uh, ceramic milk jug that I got at Home Goods. And of course, some more lemons and the daisies. And I think I'm going to remove this Magnolia Home uh, galvanized tray and do a little bit more revamping up here. I might even revamp a few more of these. So, but I will show uh, a video on that. So I think I can get this one over here pretty good without having to move. This one I have. I might have shown it before. Uh, some of you might not have seen it, but this little uh, mason jar. It's glass. I got it at Home Goods because I wanted to add something there instead of that finial that I had. And I just put the lemons and the daisies with that. And I don't think you can see the pig one very well. Let me uh, get down and move the ladder. We'll go check this one out. Okay, so this niche here, get up a little bit higher here maybe. I was going to put that little daisy right there by the ear. I tried it, it just didn't look right, so I just kind of set it in right. The pig, the pig looks so cute with a the daisy there. I could have put a little daisy chain 
around her neck. That would look really cute. Right? So, like I said, I just added some lemons and some daisies up to here. And I, I think this is one of my favorite niches here. I'm probably not ever going to touch this one. I might put something in that little wire basket back there. In fact, I might even store some of the lemons back there when I get ready to pull the stuff down. to show everybody a few items that I got at uh, Goodwill and of course this is that little trunk that I got at Goodwill that I painted it and I did end up getting some decals at Hobby Lobby they were half off so I just added some to the top and on each of the sides and on the front I didn't put anything on the back I think this dresses it up nicely another thing you know, with the inside where I just painted it black, I'm thinking about at least down in here is to uh, put some material in there. I'm not sure. I think I might even have something in here. Now, I have some of this material, this Paris material. It's more of a gray and black, but I think, I don't know, I might be able to figure out some way to get it inside here to line it. I think that will look nice. I'll have to play around with that. But let me show you, get this out of the way, a few items here that I got. Now I got this chair the other day, and originally it was $12.99, and they had it marked down to $8.99. Well, that day I went in, yellow tags were half off. So, this chair, there's really nothing wrong with it. There's This is just a little loose right here, but I even sat on it. It doesn't really wobble. And the cane in here is all nice. So when I took it up to the checkout, I asked her, I said, now, I said, since yellow tags are half off, I said, do I get half off of the $12.99 or the $8.99? Because I've never seen them mark anything down at Goodwill before. So never seen this. <laughs> they might put a new price on it, but I've never seen them cross out the price and, and handwrite another price. She goes, you know, I really don't know. She says, I'll just give it to you off the $8.99. So hey, $4.50 for this beautiful chair. I mean, it's got great detail in it. Let me take this off. See how pretty it is? I am thinking about painting it. It has some nice detail here. And then of course it has that right there. Like I said, I didn't see anything wrong with it. But I am thinking about painting it because I um, might want to put it out on the porch. And another thing I got was this little table. To me, it's more like a plant stand. And it was a little pricey, $5.99. But I, it's in very good condition. I just want to paint it. I'm thinking. But I did like the legs on it. It, is, it just needs to be uh, tightened up because there's just some screws in here. So it does need to be, the legs need to be tightened up is all. And it does have a little bit of damage right there. But like I said, this will just get painted. And I want to show this birdhouse that I got. This looks like it possibly just needs to be fixed just a little bit. Uh, it was $7, but it is big and nice. There's really nothing much to do, just kind of fix some of this. I got bronze uh, metallic paint. Probably take this off. I don't even know if this came with it, but it was kind of cool with it. And I don't think you can see, but I'm not sure if that shows up well. It's really faded. If I could get that to focus or not. Sorry about that, but it it's very faint, but it says $39. 
So I'm not sure what the original person paid for it, but I love all this detail on the front. It just might need a little bit of repair work on it in a few spots. I don't know. I might even kind of sand the edges down and make it a little more chippy looking. Not sure. But I did love that. Like I said, this needs to be fixed a little bit up here. Well, that is a few things I want to show you that I'm going to be working on. Possibly not this weekend, since I'm going to be working on that bookcase so I can have that video up and running for you on Monday, and I really want to get it done because it's still just sitting down there in my entryway. So one more area I want to show you is down in the family room. So let's head on down to the family room. I just room. want to show everybody that all my snow is gone. Yay! And I thought I would show this really quick of our outdoor lighting around the pond. And hopefully by the end of May I'm going to get the pond up and running. So and if you can see that little flagstone area over there by the waterfall. That is a perfect spot. I have this folding table and chairs that are green that I like to use to decorate with and have a, like a little uh, El Fresco dining thing. So I'll be doing a few uh, videos on that with a tablescape for two type stuff. But I thought I'd just show everybody how this looks at night out here. And of course it's much better with uh, the waterfall on. So we're gonna go back in and get finished up on the video. Okay, the last things I wanna show you are a few items that I'm gonna be working with in my family room here. And I love these pillows that I got. I got them at American Furniture and you're only gonna know what that is if you live in Colorado or Arizona. It is a Colorado-based furniture store and they have a few locations in Arizona but these pillows I mean these are huge pillows as you can see they were $12 a piece yeah I'm gonna probably put them on my love seat so this is kind of the direction I'm going I want to add some light colors in here and this birdcage here was $22 and it does open up uh, as you can see it's even taller than the pillows and these pillows are probably I'm thinking 18 by 18 is what they are. And this opens up. So this will be fun to put some stuff in here. I like to put that in here. And I have my gather sign that I'm thinking about putting on top of my uh, entertainment center over here. It's up a really short shelf above the TV. And I got this galvanized milk, well not galvanized, but uh, the enameled milk can. At uh, got it off online with decor steels, and I think it was $22. You can see it's a good size, too. That's probably going to go into the kitchen. So, I have, as you can see, I've taken down most of my stuff. I'm going to still got to remove that wreath there. I've taken everything off of the mantle that I'm going to be redoing for summer, and everything is out over here, and I've removed a few things over here. And I'm going to be changing out the pillows on the trunk. And, of course, the entertainment center will be getting switched out, too. So i got a lot of projects ahead that I'm going to be doing and showing you, hopefully, in the next couple of weeks. And, like I said, Monday, I'm going to have the video up on the bookcase that I got at Goodwill for $6.99. And I'm hoping I'll get another video up for you next week, too, of at least this part over here of the family room because I'm hoping to get all this wall done over here. So I want to wish everybody a very wonderful weekend and I will see everybody on Monday. Bye for now.